everyone, it's Lindsay, and I'm here today to share with you some Bible journaling. And I'm going to be doing my Bible journaling on Mark chapter 16 today. So I'm using the My Redeemer stamp set from Joy Claire Stamps. This is from their Color by Faith series. So I am starting off with this very large and scripty hallelujah um, word that is in the stamp set. And I have loaded this onto an acrylic block. I do have a piece of computer paper underneath my page to catch any bleed through that might happen. I'm going to be using a lot of color here, so I didn't want to take the chance of it transferring to the page beneath it. Now right underneath that hallelujah, I'm going to go ahead and stamp He is Risen. I'm using black dye waterproof ink for all of my stamping today. Now on the bottom of my page, I do have a little bit of white space and I'm going to be utilizing that to create a scene. So I need to go ahead and kind of pull my page over to the left there so it flattens out a bit. And then I'll just rock and roll this tomb with the stone rolled away right on the right side of my page there. Now I do need to do a little bit of rocking and rolling just to get the entire image stamped where it, the Bible turn tends to curve in. On the left hand side, I went ahead and stamped the cross with the heart. Right above that, I stamped the little dove. And then I'll stamp the sun right in the middle of the cross in the tomb, just a little ways up. Now on the actual cross, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the crown of thorns. And I just went ahead and wiped away the ink that would go around the back of the cross. And then I'll just use my micron pen to fill in any little areas that didn't get stamped all the way. And that's just a quick way to mask so I don't have to create an entire mask. Now for the sun, I did create a mask that I will be using later on. And I want to create a nice horizon line to have that sun rising up from the horizon. So again, I'm using my micron pen. I'm use, I will be watercoloring this scene, so I needed a waterproof pen. And that's why I chose this one. Just make sure you use whatever type of pen you might need for your coloring medium. Then I just also use that little pen to fill in all of the little areas that might not have gotten stamped perfectly. So that's just a nice little trick in case you get something that's not quite stamped perfectly. Just use your pen to fill it in. Now I went ahead and created masks for all of my images and I keep them in a little bowl on the side of my desk so I don't lose them. Um, it's a great little trick. I've lost many masks and had to recreate them. So I just keep them in a little bowl right on the top in the side of my desk now so I know where they are when I need them. Now I'm using my Secura Koi sketch box to watercolor in this little scene. I went ahead and used some grays some uh, for the tomb and the rock. I used some greens for the grass, yellow for the sun, red for the heart. I used a little bit of gray on the dove to give him a little bit of color and some browns for the cross. Now I'm working in layers here, so I put down my first layer, let it dry, then I come back in with the second darker and more richer layer to add some shadows and some depth. So that's why you've seen me going back over places. I like to work in layers, I like to build up color. That's just the way I watercolor. You can always just do one layer of color and it will still turn out beautiful. So I'm creating a sunrise here. I went into Google, I searched a sunrise, and I am going off a picture I found that I liked. So I masked off all the areas. I masked off my horizon line, all the area below that. I masked off the tomb, the sun, my little dove, and also my cross. So that's what you see in the mask before. I used those, masked off all those images. Now I'm not going to worry about my words on the top there. Those will still pop through the inks. And then I brought out my mini ink blending tool and I'm going to start creating my sunrise with my distress inks. So I started out with mustard seed. I moved on to spice marmalade. I brought in some picked raspberry, seedless preserves, and then I'll come in with some hickory smoke. Now you've seen some black soot on there. If you want to go that route, you can. I felt like my hickory smoke was dark enough and I didn't need to add any more. If you want to go big and bold, by all means do that. I just thought that mine was dark enough and I didn't want to risk covering up any of my words in my Bible. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll use that hickory smoke on the top and I go back and forth between two colors. So you can see I always have two colors open and I just work back and forth between those two colors until I get the blend that I want. Now once I had my sunrise completely 
uh, distressed inked up, I'm going to go ahead and start removing mass. Now you can see some of my mass were a little bit large, especially on that horizon line. So I have a little bit of white space. Now I have a quick and easy fix for that. What I like to do is I take this Fantastics tool. You can see it in my hand and I just dip it in the color ink I need. So in this case, I'm gonna dip it in some mustard seed and then I just come in and buff that right in the white space and that's gonna fill that in and I don't need to go back and do any more touch up other than that. So you can see I had some areas around my cross too. I'll just dip those in the mustard seed and maybe in a little bit of the spice marmalade and just quickly color in and buff in that ink and that will fill in any white space that was left. So I went pretty heavy handed with my distress inks here and I went very bright and bold with my colors. I didn't want to risk this distress ink transferring to the opposite page. If it got humid at all, you know distress inks are very reactive with any type of water. I was scared that it was going to start transferring to my other page. So I decided to seal this in. Now I decided to use multimedia matte. I don't have any other type of sealer other than this. I'm very new to Bible journaling, so I just started looking through my bottles, reading the back of them, and this said you could seal in your art with it, and I thought, great, let's try it. So I grabbed a brush from my stash, and I started going in up and down movements, and it started smearing my color. I thought I had ruined my page. So I just kept working, and I figured by the end of it that if I go in a horizontal fashion and I drag my color across color that is the exact same color, it wouldn't transfer my color as much. I also kept a paper towel right at the bottom there that I kept wiping my brush off on so it didn't transfer color as much. Just be careful when doing this because it will drag your um, distress inks with the glue. So just a little tip that I learned the hard way. But that finished off today's page for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you a few tips and tricks along the way. As always, I will leave you guys with these few finished pictures. For more information and the supply list, you can head to my blog. That link will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching today and happy crafting!